Hello everybody! Today for Sunday Fun Day we're going to see how I draw the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so obviously you know this is not Disney's Sorcerer's Apprentice. Maybe I can't even say that word. I can say it, right? I'm not going to get a copyright strike for saying the word, right? Anyway, um, so yeah, you've seen from the picture that's not what this is, but it's kind of that idea that the, you know, the sorcerer has an apprentice and he's doing some magic or trying to do some magic. So because that's kind of the funny idea, though, is I am going to put the broomstick in his hand, not a moving broomstick, but like like the mop broomstick that that uh, that they kind of used, you know, I thought it'd be kind of funny to do something like that. Um. Yeah, but just put it in his hand, he's going to be holding it, and almost like he's using it to cast a spell, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, but that's that's why. I mean, again, I feel like I have to explain this as if you have no idea, but you know, you saw the picture, right? You know what you're clicking on. So, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to talk about this. I always talk about this, and I feel bad for always talking about this, but no one ever watches these. So, I can talk about this all I want. I feel like I have to explain for some reason, like you don't know what's going on, but you do. You you see the picture. I just I forget that, and it's hard for me to wrap my brain around that because right now it doesn't exist. I'm trying to sketch it. I'm trying to get it going, and at this moment in time, I don't know whether it works or not. You know, I don't know whether I'm going to erase this and start over and get mad and just throw it around, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I, I, I don't do that. Um, but, uh, you know, at, at this point in time, I don't know whether it's whether it works. And so, that's why I kind of uh, talk like, like we'll see, and, and this is new and you have no idea, but you do. You do, because you saw the picture. And like I said, it's always strange for me to wrap my brain around that, that you know what's going on. You are already there, you know? So, it gives me something to talk about, so I guess I'm not going to be so apologetic about it. And I'm trying to draw, like, really wrinkled up robes. Like, uh, like so let's say he's got long sleeves, but it's it's uh, all pushed up on itself so that means it's like super wrinkled super bunged up right there in the corners and that'll you know give us something something to draw so yeah i got the i got the the idea the pose so i'm going to draw some some crazy little doodads and knickknacks and and uh accoutrement as well as what it's called just to show like he's got potions and and all kinds of stuff he's ready to go into battle you know he's uh he, he thinks he's going to be that kind of a, a, a sorcerer, that he has to go in and, and, and wear the, oh, ooh, what's, what's the, the uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of it right now, the, uh, the um, Eye of Agamotto, God, I couldn't think of it, uh, you know, the, the, the stuff that Dr. Doom wears, the, the, the packs and the bags and the, the, the uh, weapons or the, you know, um, but you know, no, I, I take it back. He doesn't have the, all that kind of stuff. You know, he's got got the eye, sure, sure, but he doesn't have extra stuff, right? He's just got his magic powers. And I want this guy to be holding on to stuff, you know, almost like, we'll see if we can draw like a chicken bone, you know, all kinds of crazy wizard stuff, just to give him a little bit extra of, of, uh, of, um, yeah, exactly that little little stuff to to make magic with, you know, and and let's give him some crazy crazy pants that are kind of a little bit baggy, you know, a little crazy and and uh, all over the place. Just to you know, give us give us some some something cool to draw, something 
you know, not otherworldly, but I guess, I guess, like a little magical. Uh, fantasy realm, that kind of stuff, you know. Very, very Dungeons and Dragons, that's what I'm thinking of, you know. His pants are, his boots are a little, a little piratey, but hey, you know what, that's okay. Again, gives us something to draw. And a little exciting. Okay, and that's mostly what we're trying to do here, is just come up with something cool, you know, something fun. So it doesn't have to be all explained, or it doesn't have to be all perfect. It's just uh, the idea of, of, of the Sorcerer's Apprentice that, uh, that uh, is ready for battle. Okay, let me see. Let me hold on to a... Uh, what do I got here? here this will work. I was going to use that, but I should use this as a... I, I got to look in the mirror to kind of see... You know, if he's holding, there we go, a stick. Sorry, the lightsaber made it into this drawing. If he's holding a stick, like where, where is his hand? Like what, what goes where? And uh, don't ever be afraid to use a model. I mean, it's, it's best to use a model because that way you'll get it just right. You'll know exactly what you're drawing. And, and you can see it just right because as much as, as I would like to think, I know what to do, I know where I'm going, I don't. You know, it, it doesn't hurt to to go back and look at at reference, whether it's a model or whether it's yourself. You're you're always the best model because, you know, unless you've had an accident or were born without something, you've got everything you need to uh, to to be the the, the model you're trying to um, emulate. You know. And I may I may use the straight edge to because it's a broom handle. Maybe I want to get that a little a little perfect, you know, a little uh, a little straighter because yeah, it's a broom handle. Or I guess maybe we can do it by hand and make it kind of weird, like it's yeah. You know what? We're gonna do it by hand because now that I think about it, if it's manufactured, it's not back then because this is all you know strange. Um, what do you call it? Uh, um. Dungeons and Dragons World, what would you call this? When was this? This was a, a when, uh, what time, what era? Medieval time, I guess. That's kind of what we always consider Dungeons and Dragons time. Um, anyway, they're not making brooms. They're not manufactured. They're not perfectly smooth, you know? They'll try, you know, they'll try to sand them down and whatnot. But for the most part, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a stick. You know, a stick, a broom, or, or a, you know, a twig whatnot so that's what we'll do we'll make it you know kind of kind of grungy kind of a little dirty kind of uh, rough around the edges you know we'll make him kind of yelling kind of screaming Ooh, what was that I made a little a little pebble a little bump a little piece of sand or something I don't know what that was Uh, what kind of hair can we give him? Let's see. Let's let's put it back in a ponytail. He's he's getting ready for battle, so he's got his hair all back. This will kind of uh, kind of get it out of the way and get it ready for for the the, the damage he's about to do. Bad damage he's about to inflict with his special broom of power. All right, I think that might work. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Let me erase some of these sketch lines and then we'll get going. And we'll welcome everybody that skipped over to the Sharpie portion. Gotta be careful because a lot of these sketch lines work, so I don't want to make too much of an erase. I want to make enough erase that I see my Sharpie and not the pencil lines, but I gotta leave enough that it'll guide me. Okay, I think that's gonna work. I say everybody get your, your Sharpies. Let's welcome everybody that skipped. Ooh, I just moved my whole paper. Let me let me retape that down. And then we will skip over to the Sharpie portion. 
Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly a fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased a majority of it, but left myself enough of a ghost of an image that I could use to guide me on this Sharpie adventure. So, uh, you've seen it. You know where we're going. So I'm going to start off with the eyes, the eyelids, just to see if I've got them, you know, in the right level so they're not like this. And let's see if we can get going here. So here's the top of the eye on this one. We'll do the top of the eye on that one. That looks about right. So let's draw some retinas. That's right, retinas. And a pupil like that, just a little bit of a dot. It's tiny enough that I don't have to worry too much about um, um, all the details because it's going to bleed so tiny with this, this Sharpie. For the bottom of the eye, I'm just going to come in just a little bit like that just to kind of imply the bottom. Like this. If you were working with pencil, you can do it, but I don't want this to bleed everywhere, so I just I just had to uh, use that small part. So let's give him an eyebrow. I'm going to come in like this. Let's make it a little thick. Up like that. Let's do this one like that too. All right, he's ready for battle. So I'm gonna draw the bridge of his nose down like that. We'll do another one like this, just a little bit, just to kind of define that little edge. So I'm gonna draw his nose. I guess his head's type tilted down just a little bit, or I guess down this way a little bit. So for his nose, we're just gonna come in here, do one of these. And I think that's all I want to do. I want to do more, but I think that's enough because you don't want to draw all the hard edges. You just want to draw a few and let color take care of the rest because there's not a lot of hard edges on a face. And as much as I want to draw the bulb of that nose, I'll take care of it with color. So I'm going to have him kind of yelling. So I'm going to have his mouth open like this. Okay. We'll go ahead and draw a little bit of a lip down at the bottom. The rest I'll do with color. I want to do lines in his face, but again, I think color is going to take care of that. So let's go ahead and draw a chin like this. And I'm going to start to thicken it up at this from this point on, because once I switch to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference. And uh, um, I just kind of want to match what's about to happen. So I'm going to draw his jaw up like this. And again, remember, I got his head kind of tilted a little bit, so we're seeing more of a, a straight angle. Than, than a, than a, or, or an upward angle than a, than a flat angle. Okay, so I'm going to go up to his cheekbone like this. And again, I'm going to thicken it up. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you're working with pencil, you probably don't want to. But I'm just reminding you why I'm making it look like this. Alright, there's this side over here. Okay, so I'm going to draw his ears, and I've got his hair kind of pulled back. So all I'm going to see is that much of that ear. This one we're going to see a little bit more, and it's raised up a little higher because, again, I've got his head tilted. Normally your ears are like, what, your eyes and your nose? But again, because his head is tilted, you only see so much. Look, this one's even lower. That was a mistake, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. And so I'm going to draw some little bit of sideburns and then kind of put some hairline in here. Kind of guide me as to where I'm going with this. And like I said, I've got his hair kind of pulled back, so I'm just going to kind of start to, to push it all back that way as I do his hairline. Okay, and it also guide me with the edge of his head. And let's see, let's just keep going back this way. And also the nice thing is his hair's being pulled back, so let's mess it up a little bit. Let's... Let's say this line goes back here, and it's going to tie into a ponytail, we'll say, like that, back there, okay? Put a little line across from where it ties. Draw maybe a few more little lines, but let's also, let's mess up his hair. Let's do like that. So there's a piece that's not perfectly in there, you know? Just to just to break it up, just to make it a little different. Sometimes you got to come up with stuff like that just to make it stand out and make it look like it's it's a little different than anything else. It looks a little strange, but once we color it in, you'll see a, a better a better look. We'll do something like that too, just to show a few more lines of, of messed up hair. I mean, he's, he's getting into a fight. He's a sorcerer's apprentice, all right? Give him some slack. <laughs> okay, so let's do a ponytail. Let's go, ooh, let's do like a fantasy ponytail. Let's do back like this. Like kind of it's curled back on itself. 
Okay, do it like this. Then we'll do like that. Ooh, yeah. See how it's kind of flipping back and going like that? That's fantasy. That's that's Dungeons and Dragons right there. All right. Again, I'm going to thicken it up just a little bit. And again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just always feel like I got to explain what I'm doing. All right. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the other Sharpie now. And so now I've got him holding a broom up, get into a fight, a magic fight. And um, he's got a bunch of, well, you've seen the picture. Why am I explaining to this? Why am I explaining this to you? So let's draw his hood. Which I'm going to have over him like this. I'm going to come back in and add a little bit of, of uh, creases and fold. There's going to be a lot of these because he's got, he's got a very, very uh, wrinkled robe that I wanted to put on him. So I'm going to put a lot of creases and folds all over him. So get ready. All right. So I've got a, kind of a, a belt on him. So I'm going to come down here. Do this. I kind of played around with a different look, kind of like almost like a um, maybe a sash or a, a something that's connected right there that's not quite a leather piece all the way across. Oh, but you know what? I also did this. I also did, he's got potions and stuff like that. Let's put another one like this. Like on his belt, on his uh, armory. Okay, let me add some extra detail. Just to make it magic, you know, a little, little bit of otherworldly uh, design, or, or uh, simplified too. You know that it's, it's made by someone. It's uh, wasn't manufactured. Okay, we'll put a little tie on that one. We'll say there's a strap going across, holding it there. Strap going across, holding it there. Just to keep it on. Put a little something right there too, and then uh, we'll just dangle something right here. We'll just don't know what it is. Ooh, you know what it'll be? It'll be like a like a, a, a crow's foot. That's what we'll do. Something like that. Okay. Awesome. It's on a string. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's draw his arms, and it's got he's just got like a big a big um, a wrinkled robe that I've got the sleeve kind of pushed up right here. And that's why we've got a bunch of creases, 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 creases and folds. There's his edge, and so now I'm going to do some with this, and then some with the smaller sharpie just to define or to complement really because I like to do stuff like that I like to use uh, different sharpies just to get that 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 wrinkled look or to uh, complement each other you know there you go just to show that it's all it's all pushed up because his arm is raised up right there Okay, so let's draw that arm. And I've got it bent up, so I'm gonna come over here to the elbow. There's the inside of the forearm up to the wrist. And connect it right there. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit, because it's skin, there's not much we really wanna do, but I do wanna add a little bit, a little bit of elbow. A little bit of elbow. All right, so I've got him holding a broom. So I'm just gonna basically draw his hand like this, and th I always tell you don't close it out, but this time you're not gonna see much because of the way that he's got it held. So we're gonna draw the fingers completely over that tiny little broom handle. And something else I talked about in the sketch is the broom handle, the reason I made it so beat up and not straight, I was gonna use a ruler, but I realized like, well, if we're gonna go with that this is Dungeons and Dragons world, this is, you know, medieval times, whenever he exists, this was not a manufactured stick. This was what they found, basically a tree limb. So that's why I'm going with like a bumpy uh, uh, 
stick. Okay, just add some knuckles, a little bit of definition there. Um, let me, let me, before I do the rest of the hand, let me draw the broom handle. So, again, I'm just going to kind of come across. I want the, the edge of it here. I'm going to follow a straight edge that I did right there. Something like this. And again, I, I'm making it kind of weird because it's, it's a part of a tree, right? So there's a little piece of wood sticking out. So now I'm going to come up here, follow this. Let's kind of go up here. You know, just kind of making it like a, and we'll do that, we'll just do like a tree limb. All right, okay, so now I can close up this hand, draw the rest of it in here like this, and then I'm gonna add some some stretchy details. And what I mean by that is, or stress details, because he's really, he's really stressing those hands like that. You know what I mean? So I just like to do little stuff like that, just to kind of make it come alive, make it, make it real, you know? Okay, and since we're here, let's go ahead and add just a little bit of, of wear and tear and, and tree on this, you know? Okay, so let's, uh, let's add, oh, okay, I guess I can explain this too, because if you weren't in the sketch part, you don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of playing around with the, the Disney Sorcerer's Apprentice. Obviously, that's not what this is. This is my own version, but I thought it'd be funny to do like a little mop. Uh, broom type thing like uh, like what Mickey was fighting, you know, just to pay homage to it. Basically, is what it is. So I'm just gonna do something like this, just to be funny. This looks like it makes me think like hair is what I was thinking of, but you know they they did theirs kind of cool and and creative, so that's what we're doing. Just something like that. I, I want to do more, but I, I also want to let color take care of it, so I don't want to go too crazy. All right, okay. So I got his hand kind of out like he's casting a casting a spell, but same thing. His shirt's all kind of you know pushed up, so we're just gonna. Uh, wrinkle and bunge up his his robe there and I stopped there because I want to draw his hand before I go too far so I'm just gonna kind of wrinkle up the robe like that like like we did there it's all pushed up into itself like that why I grab a pencil so again gonna add ooh I want to do this too yeah couple a couple of big fat ones like that then we can complement with the the uh, smaller sharpie all right you know what else we're gonna do let's let's do let's do this we're gonna sew up his his uh, robe because it's, it's it's what he has to work with, right? We're not gonna do them all over, but we also gotta make it look like, well, it's, it's you know, it's a little um, real. It's, it's something he had to sew and put together. Okay, so this hand is out cast in a spell. Maybe I'd take the cap off, that would probably help. So I'm gonna stick his arm out this way to his elbow. There's his forearm now to, let's give him like a, a bracelet, a little, Power, power bracelet. So I want to draw his hand first and then I'll draw the bracelet. So I'm going to draw it kind of out like this, like that. So here's the main part of the hand coming up to the finger, the first finger. And I've got it exaggerated, kind of way sticking out, like really, really Disney out, bent up. So let me close this one off. And this one's going to be same thing. Very very extended out, very uh, exaggerated. Because hey, he's casting spells, you know? And sometimes you gotta work a little harder. Um, I'll add some details in a second. Let's go ahead and just add some kind of bracelet right here. Just to kind of give us a, a place to go. And that's all we gotta do. Because look, you can't really see that much anyway. So let's let's just add like a, a little bit of a little bit of detail here. 
and this got kind of thick so there's not too much I can add right here so let's let's just play around with adding a little bit of stress lines on the hand and like I said it got a little a little too thick than what I liked but that's okay we'll, we'll, we'll just make it work this is his magic bracelet it's got uh, magic rubies on it and uh, and that's what's casting the spell. So, yeah, like I said, this came a little thick, but that's what happens when you use Sharpies, so that's all right. All right. So, let's give him uh, a belt that's got an amulet in the front. We'll do a little, little bit of detail. Like this. We don't know what that is yet, but we're going to say it's some kind of... Um, special eye of something, you know, eye of Newt, I guess we can call it that. And we're gonna add some packs and uh, little, um, what do you call it? Magician's secrets. I guess that's the best way to to to, to say what something like that is. So again, we'll do the little sewn up edge like that put a little a little uh, um, lid on it uh, let's do another one over here so we're gonna do like another one like that again we'll add here we add the front add some extra okay Okay, and so now we're just gonna hang his shirt out. We'll go ahead and, let's say, off his belt, he's got, like, the old, uh, the old, um, gunslinger's, um, strap belt off to the side here. But it's not holding a, a gun. It's holding another pouch. It's just, it's easier to draw. You know, we can do stuff like that all day long. And, uh... And just, you know, add, add little things like that. Because all we're doing now is drawing his shirt. Like this, just kind of hanging down. Add a little bit of lines and creases. And then we're gonna draw some, some big old baggy pants. We'll say they close off right there. This one comes down. Close off right there. Same thing, this one comes in. Like that. I'll add some creases and folds with this. With the smaller Sharpie, just to kind of accent that. Let's give him just knees down to his boots. And his boots, I kind of did like a uh, like a pirate boot, you know, a little little flared out top, something like that. We'll do both of them. Okay. So I also did like kind of this little bit of like a maybe wrappings or something around his his leg. So we're gonna do like this over to his knee. It looks like like bunged up socks though, right? Gonna put his foot down. Like that. Now add some detail and then we'll do this like. Alright, so for this knee we'll go ahead and just draw like some cloth, just something. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is just kind of connect like the little wrappings that I did. So it looks like it's kind of something wrapped over. You know, that's kind of what I was going for. And that's why I wanted an extra outside of that. All right. Something like that. The boots, I want to do a, uh, like a, uh, a color on it. So I'm leaving them kind of blank. So let's do this foot over here. Do the same thing. Do a little bit of bumps. Kind of bumpity bump, bump, bumpity bump, bump. Look at the sorcerer go. Bumpity bump. Okay, that's Santa Claus. Sorry. Okay. All right. Next, just gonna connect a few, 
And I'm not really trying to do exactly across. I'm just kind of playing around with with uh, the bumps, you know, something like that. All right, and so now, and there we go. So let me just add this like we did over there. And there, okay, so I say we take care of the rest with color. So for Sunday Fun Day, that is the Sorcerer's Apprentice. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.